you're gonna lose customers. Nothing you can do about it. It's gonna happen. How to make a hundred thousand dollars a year carpet cleaning. Really, it's all about numbers. And doing a little bit of math, and right here in this video, we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of math. Tell you exactly what you need to, to do to be able to make a hundred thousand dollars. Maybe your first year. I don't know. Maybe if you took my course, that is a possibility. <laughs> a little plug there, okay. But how to make a hundred thousand dollars a year? Carpet clean. How many hours a day do you gotta work? What should you be charging? These are the questions we're gonna answer in this video. Do me a favor. Hit that like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed and then comment, you know, let me know if you're thinking about getting into the carpet cleaning industry or already a carpet cleaner and really need to dial things in to where you can actually make the, the money that some of us are making out there. Notice I said us because I also practice what I preach. So let's get into this. How to make $100,000 a year carpet cleaning. So first figure out your business model. Okay, so do you wanna be that low price carpet cleaner? Or do you wanna be that quality, high-end carpet cleaner? The carpet cleaners that are catering to the middle, upper class clientele. Or is the business model you're getting into is like apartment cleaning, okay? Busting out a whole bunch of apartments. Um, and uh, that's kind of that's kind of where you're going going with this, okay? So I'm, I'm gonna keep my suggestions or my opinions on business model out of this. If anybody watches my channel, you kind of already know what my business model is. But let's see what you gotta do in order to make that hundred thousand dollars a year. So in order to make a hundred thousand dollars a year, you need to make eight thousand thirty-three dollars. A month that will get you to that hundred thousand dollars a year okay so knowing that what are you making now at your current job if you just started what are you making now at your current current job it probably to most of you it seems a far outreach right something's like wow that's cheap. I'll never be able to make that at my job and it's hard to believe I can make that carpet clean let's break that down to what we got to make Per week we need to make two thousand eighty three dollars per week so two thousand eighty three dollars per week will get you at that hundred thousand dollar mark okay so two thousand eighty three dollars how much are you making at your current job right now you're probably thinking again that's huge money compared to what you're making now right and and then you're equal on that to carpet cleaning. You're thinking, how are you going to make that type of money carpet cleaning? Again, it's not that hard. All right. So let's talk about how much you got to make per day. So per day carpet cleaning, you need to make $416 per day. So depending on your business model, that may mean five jobs a day. That may mean two jobs a day. That may mean six hours a day. That may mean two hours a day. So depending on your business model, two hours a day, six hours a day. So if you're living in a big city and you gotta do five jobs a day, we know that that commute, I mean, that, that five jobs may take you 10 hours to make that 400 and $16. So think about that guys too, because if you're gonna start your carpet cleaning business, you live in a big city, if you're kinda advertising everywhere, you're gonna spend a lot of time on the road, okay? Versus if you're a quality high-end carpet cleaner and you're charging those prices, which by the way guys, people pay for. A lot of people are scared to raise their prices and it's a big, 
talk all over the internet, social media groups, people are scared to raise their prices because they think they're going to lose customers. Guess what? You will lose customers. If you raise your prices, you're going to lose customers. Nothing you can do about it. It's going to happen. But guess what? When you lose these customers, you're going to actually be better off because you're going to be losing the low price, price shopper um, customers. They're trying to get a deal and they're going to be the pickiest ones. They're not going to want to pay a lot. Hey, they might even give you a bad review because you couldn't make their trash carpet look brand new again. So if your average job ticket is $100, that means you're gonna have to do over four jobs a day to make that $416. That may take you six to eight hours to do four jobs a day. Depending on the location, if you're a city, in the city, maybe if you're in a smaller town, smaller community, which I live, it's still gonna take you at least four hours. Now, if you are aiming for the middle class to high end customers, okay, and your job ticket is somewhere around $300 average, all you need to do is one job, one and a half jobs, you really wanna break it down, okay? Remember that average is $300, so a lot of times one job will, will hit that $416 mark to what you want to meet daily in order to make that $100,000 a year. Working as a carpet cleaner, you can work around two hours per day and make $416 a day, which will bring you to that $100,000 being that carpet cleaning company who caters to the middle upper class charges at a price that not everybody's going to want to pay this is possible to work two hours a day and make a hundred thousand dollars a year now i'm saying two two hours a day to make that's not always going to end up that way you may work Four hours one day, you may work one and a half hours another day. You may work three hours one day, one and a half hours another day. Okay, but you're gonna average out to that two hours per day with the business model with a job average of $300. Hey, it's just that simple, guys. There's the little mistakes that people are making starting their own businesses. Not just carpet cleaning, any business in, in the service industry, really. They're thinking that they can get into the business and they can get that phone ringing and they can make a killing by being the cheapest guy out there. And if you do that, I have bad news for you guys. You're gonna work your butt off, you're gonna kill yourself out there and you're not gonna make as much money as you thought you were gonna make okay versus the other guy that works a couple hours a day works on a really clean sometimes doesn't even look like dirty carpets customers turn into repeat customers see this is one thing about middle and high end customers is that they like you they keep using you over and over and over again being a low price carpet cleaner, these customers are price shoppers. Next time they keep need their carpet cleaned, they're gonna go through and they're gonna find the cheapest guy again. They're not gonna remember you. So if you wanna build a strong foundation, you actually need to pick your audience. Your audience is gonna help you to survive and to grow and uh, to really not kill yourself in this industry or any other service industry. Building your business for success is what you should be focusing on. Not just going out there buying the machines, 
getting all the education you can on cleaning carpets, get certified in all these different certifications, which, which, yeah, you know how to clean carpets now, but that's only about 25% of the battle, if that. So I hope this helped you out if you're starting to get into the carpet cleaning industry. I do offer a course, link below all my videos. You hit the little arrow, it drops down, you'll see uh, a bunch of links down there and uh, starting the carpet cleaning business 101 is one of them. So I teach you how you build your business and, and, and make the money I'm talking about with that $300 average. They got to find and found a better way. They got to find and found a better way. They got to find and found a better way. They got to find and found a better way. They got to find and found a better way.